Sister, Season 6, Episode 7. Let's get into this recap. seconds into this episode and I was already ready to snatch Cameron into a new dimension. Do y'all hear me? Let me tell y'all what happened. Okay, so boom. Y'all know our good sister team when they pulled up to the salon and she see Cameron kissing Zach on the cheek. Right, okay. So Fatima walked up to her man and politely asked him if she can talk to him for a quick second. So Cameron is still standing there like, girl, what you trying to hear? So Fatima, again, very politely and very very patiently asked Karen, can we get a minute? Now, Karen was on demon time and she looked at Fatima and told her, you at my salon. The salon is burnt up. Okay, child. Anyway, so Fatima was like, but I'm outside. And Karen was like, but you can go over there outside. Baby, oh, I don't think that Karen understand or realize how she be playing with her life when she playing with Fatima. And I really think that Zach need to tell her because baby, her or that baby will not make it if she keep going this rate. So of course, Zach is like, come on, let's just go over here and talk. Now, Fatima don't really have nothing to say to him. She is on business. She done brought some paperwork for him to sign so she can get back to the office. So... Zach is over here piling in with his ex trying to help her with her salon and Fatima over here trying to get you custody of your child make it make sense niggas so he like okay well can I take you out to lunch so we could talk cause you got an attitude it wasn't nothing she can boy we don't care we, we really don't care at this point Zachary and Fatima was like nah I'm good sign these papers let me get it back to the office so then he looks at her finger and say what your ring at <sighs> boy the audacity don't even ask her about no ring because at the rate you going it's gonna be sold to the highest bidder now y'all know that pam ain't never too far away from the drama because she's seen everything that happened and of course she gotta let karen know that she seen it and somebody else was there that seen it too baby i forgot that john aaron was in the building yes he is there and he has an attitude per usual he is ready to go so he came out the salon and was like i'm finna go karen i'll call you later boy we know that you're gonna be calling her later you didn't even have to tell us that john aaron but okay cool now of course he ran into zach because they both there and he had words for zach why i don't know but he told zach that he know that karen and fatima both want him and that he playing both of them so zach is like boy go on about your business you don't know me and john aaron was like oh i do know you i know enough about you and zach was like well if you know me then you should know not to f with me like don't make me have to beat you up again and john aaron was like like, well, why you always want to fight? Why can't you just have a grown man conversation? It's the gaslighting for me. You came over here talking out the side of your neck, and now that he want to punch you in your neck, he wrong. Child, pull it on somebody else because we not here for it. So he left, of course, with his tail wagging between his legs. Per usual, you lost again. I mean, you versus Zach. Zach is going to win. And Karen didn't even try to stop you from leaving, then check on you. She said bye. Which is what we trying to say. Bye. Now that John Aaron has left, Zach walks over to Cameron because he needs to talk to her. But what threw me off was the fact that Cameron sent Pam home. What you sent her home for? Y'all ain't finna have no rendezvous. You ain't got no office for him to smash you in today, honey. So... He was like, yo, let me take you somewhere so we can talk. And she was like, yeah, we can do that once we see the damage to the salon, right? Okay, this is what I need Zach to do. This is the conversation. I thought you was dead. I love you. I'm not in love with you. You still my ex. Fatima is my wife to be. We gonna do what we gotta do with this baby if it's my baby. And we gonna leave it at that. Because baby Karen has gotten big headed and she did not need to add no more inches to that forehead i'm just saying maurice and sabrina visiting a lawyer and they both scared that they gonna go to jail for 15 years and the way tyler perry writing this show they might do 15 years okay calvin is there he trying to be positive like look he said that he can help and maurice over there just one of the pity party y'all want to blame me it's my fault i know i know and sabrina like boy take some accountability can we please like Maurice we know it's your fault they know it's your fault but we here now so we just got to do what we got to do 
but stop it because it's your fault then he was having a good day at work until q rolled up in his wheelchair trying to talk to her and she don't want to talk to him and she was like how do you sleep and he was like not as good as i sleep at your house child i never forgot that they even had sex like yes that really happened and of course she teasing him about being in a wheelchair about him being shot and she telling him like boy get out my face go do your job and he don't want to leave so she rolled him out the way <laughs> Now, our good sister Sabrina called Danny to fill her in about the lawyer and her possibly having to do 15 years. And Danny was like, you know, Q, he working. He at the airport right now. And Sabrina was like, I didn't know he worked there. How is that possible? And Danny was like, but girl, I told you that. And Sabrina like, okay, can you get me in? Because I need to talk to him. Talk to him for what? Because she needs to let him know everything that he caused her. Sabrina, Fatima Day just keep getting worse, child, because now she back at the office and she runs into Tamara and she's like, girl, what you doing here? Like, you need to leave. Like, what's going on? And Tamara was like, oh, no, I'm here to see Hayden. He expected me. And Fatima see the ring on this girl finger. And she was like, yeah, girl, we got married. I got it done. And Fatima like, girl, this thing went way too far. You doing way too much. I don't want no parts of this. Like, you doing a lot. And Tamara was like, well, you told me to get him, so I got him. I'm finna get all this money. Girl, the only thing you finna do is run us right into another situation. And you finna have Hayden on our TV screens a little bit longer. And that's not what we asked you for. So for that, you can go to hell, Miss Mamas. Andy made her way to Fatima's office to check on her. And Fatima was in her office all emotional. And she telling Andy that she saw Karen and Zach kissing. And that Zach is in love with Karen. And she see the way he look at her. And Andy don't believe it and she said the smartest thing that anybody could have said to Fatima in that situation in that moment talk to your man because how you ain't talked to him yet girl Fatima listen sis I understand what you saying but girl you doing too much he ain't kiss her Sister Gary Nicole, Sister Hayden, to let him know that he did a background check on his wife and he didn't find nothing, but he took it a step further and he had one of his guys look deeper into Tamara and he was asking Sister Hayden, did he get the annulment papers? And Sister Hayden was like, yeah, I got him, but she on her way here, right? Mm -hmm. Now, y'all know Sister Gary couldn't miss the opportunity to ask about Robin and Andy and he said he finna come by the office, right? Now, Tamara and I walked in the office and Hayden is talking to her and he is like, yo, don't you think we moving too fast? And she was like, I mean, this is true love. You can't move too fast. And she was like, you need to meet my parents. I need to meet your parents. And within the blink of an eye, she done turned into Monica Lewinsky. I mean, that's the thing. I knew she was under the desk. And this is not how I saw this scene ended, but that's how it ended. And I was like, okay. And Hayden was shook, scared, and confused. And I was like, you know what, Bill? Do your thing. Sister Gary made it to Sister Hayden's office, and he just walked in. Now, my Mind you, Tamara is still under this desk. Monica Lewinsky and him, right? So, Sister Hayden is trying his hardest to get Sister Gary out the office, and Sister Gary not taking the hint. And Sister Gary decides that he's going to walk around Hayden's desk and see what's going on with the goings on. And he's seen what was going on with the goings on. And he's talking about, uh, uh, put that thing away. Boy, get the hell out. Our good sister Sabrina has made it to the airport and she is ready to waste her life's minutes talking to Q. And he don't want to talk to her. So she like, okay, just listen. And she was telling him like, look, I put myself through college. I've worked hard. I had a good thing going at the bank and you just came in and you ruined it. Why are you doing this? And y'all know that he do not care about nobody but himself. He is not trying to hear nothing that she is trying to say. So she was telling him like, you know... I don't deserve this. I didn't hurt you. I don't know who hurt you. And Maurice really cared about you. And he said Maurice did not care about him. Maurice was like everybody else. They just wanted to have sex with him and wanted to use him for his body. And Sabrina told him like, look, my baby, it wasn't me. It ain't had nothing to do with me. I'm sorry to whoever hurt you. But you don't deserve to be hurt. I don't deserve to be hurt. And she said that she forgave him. Baby, good. I'm glad somebody did, and I'm glad that you wore your all-white, looking angelic and holy, because, baby, had it been me, all black, dressed for the funeral, because I would have came in and finished the job, two shots to the dawn. If I'm going to jail, I'm going to jail for a reason, period. But I do think that she kind of got through the queue, and y'all trying to make us feel sorry for him, and it ain't going to work, because that nigga is a sad case. 
And that's just that on that. Now, this next scene is very interesting, to say the least, because we see John Aaron at this coffee shop and he on the phone with somebody telling them to meet him at the spot. But who was there? Agent Pam. And of course, she got to get the tea. So she was like, who was that? You telling that girl to meet you up here? And he was like, yeah, I am telling her to meet me up here, but it's not like that. And I'm like, what girl? Jen? I know you ain't talking about her because if you talk about her, then the math ain't math then because I thought that she was a crazy stalker but you calling her. So who crazy and who stalking who, child? But he got questions for Pam and he like, what's going on with Cameron and Zach? Why he got a hold on her? This is frustrating. It's a lot going on with this baby. I don't know if I could be doing this. And he called Jen and told her to meet him somewhere else and Pam said that she was finna follow him. We do not give a damn. Let John Aaron do whatever he doing. We don't care. If y'all I'm not gonna put his dirty laundry out there then y'all can keep the clean clothes because we don't want them now for the first time since season one we see andy meeting with a client and she got fatima in this meeting with her and this old lady is telling them all the reasons why they should not get married and once she started telling her story i was like oh that sound like andy because she married her man and he was married when they met and he left his wife and got married to her and then he started cheating on her he had narcissist Gary mm -hmm. and so now Fatima and Andy both listening but we know Andy ain't taking nothing that she's saying serious but Fatima is taking everything to the soul it is speaking to her and the lady was talking about if you change your dude it's only gonna last for so long make sure that that's the guy for you baby mama drama da 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 da, da. so they like okay it's time for you to go now this lady leaves and Fatima is sitting there crying and she looking at Andy like what are we doing are we just trying to love of them are they that effed up we gonna end up just like her i can't live like this i gotta let it go i'm not gonna spend my whole life with zach knowing he in love with karen and she asks andy where the ring was child now i was just playing when i said she was finna sell the ring to the highest bidder but that's the type of time that fatima is on and that was the end of the episode so we gonna wait till next week mm -mm -mm. but anyway y'all that was that on that i will be back next week to do a recap to episode eight so come back for that in the meantime between time watch the videos for my other shows like comment subscribe let's have a conversation down in the comment section below don't forget to follow me on all my social medias they will be linked in the description box down below and yeah it's your girl sitting here Renee and I am out of here y'all peace